What's going on? Just sitting here watching some Fallen Phoenix tactical videos, and uh, because uh, one of our videos just went live, so it's the video I had issues with. I kind of fixed it, quote unquote, and um, yeah, just added subtitles. That's all I did because I was uh, in an intro saying how the video's fucked to begin with. So uh, yeah, go check it out. Link will be in the description. If it's not, it's I forgot. <laughs> But, um, yeah, right now, just, uh, got, uh, Nick's holster in the press right now. It's probably good to go. I should probably pull it out. But, uh, yeah, the video's live. Go check that shit out. Um, it's nothing crazy, but you should definitely just go, so, go, go show me some love. Go show us some love. So, uh, I think we're going to start some, uh, some reviews on some guns here soon because, um, we need more content, more, uh more regular content so uh you know i enjoy we we all enjoy the stupid videos we do like the airsoft pain olympics and uh uh you know stuff like that the unboxings are fun but uh i definitely think we should start doing some reviews we've got enough guns that we can and uh enough experience with said guns to you know do it knowledgeably so get some good reviews out there so we're gonna probably start doing that pretty soon and see how that goes so we just got to see who's gonna review what it'll, we'll probably review our, all our own guns so that way it, it'll be some uh more unique content you know per video you know different reviewers so but uh i think we're gonna definitely do that we're still waiting on this frat uh frag hot potato video I really want to get that done. I want to do it. Um, and I think we're going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon. So not sure exactly what we're going to be giving away, but it's, uh, so you're going to want to watch it because it's free, it's free stuff. So free gun, it's going to be a gun. So, but it's, uh, yeah, it's free. So definitely, you should definitely go check that out when it comes out. It's obviously not out yet. So I'll, be sure to let everybody know so i'll probably post my own video on here just so you guys are aware to go check it out uh you know as its own separate video but uh yeah we'll uh we'll be doing that yeah i'm yeah i'm gonna do that for sure but anyways go check out the video links down there if it's not i mean just go to fallen phoenix tactical and uh, check out the eve like summer heat wave mystery box unboxing thing video thanks Fuck. yes that's so sweet i want it i'll trade you i'll trade you i'll give you the charger for the humvee wow that's fucking sweet so we're on the harbor cruise sarah is here hopefully i got you i don't know so. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, should have brought the drone, but no. <laughs> no. Police. Uh in the car. I would have had somebody else drive. I would have had Sarah drive or something. I can't drive. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would have I don't know. That would have been cool though. This whole time. That would have been cool though. <laughs> you drive in a I'll fly the drone while in the car. We'll just throw your phone in the air if you yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're back home from the, uh, the Harper Cruise. We went out to Nina's parents' house, hung out, hit Sarah. What's up, Sarah? Anyways, finished the holster for Nick. This is uh, my first full, um, I guess you can call it full encasement, because none of the gun is sticking out other than the grip. And, uh, you know, there's just that very slight slot just because there's no rivets there, but there's no need. So uh, it's got belt loops, it's on it. I don't know what angle that would be, but it's not vertical. It's actually gonna ride this way on your hip instead of straight up and down. So I don't know, that'd be like a 15 degree angle. So woo, that, was, uh, that was close. So it's gonna sit like that instead of like that. So. But uh, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Draw is really nice. Again, these aren't easy doing it one-handed. <laughs> so, draw is really, draw is really nice. It's 
got a la he's got a laser on it. That's wow, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> so he's got a laser on it. I ended up taking his orange tip off there. Actually revealed some threads, so he could uh, attach, you know, a, th uh, a suppress mock suppressor tracer unit, whatever he would like. So, um, no, actually, with the orange tip off, it really makes the pistol look really nice. And I really, really dig the laser he he put on it. And it makes me really want one for my Glock. So um, I have a feeling I'm going to try and find a laser light combo. So that'd be really cool, you know, have both. And it's just a simple little toggle button. So and even left-handed, I can access this. You know, just boom. Access it one-handed. No same thing, right-handed. Hit it with your thumb. It's really nice, and it's you can adjust it and everything. So, no, I'm doing like a review on this uh, this laser. No, uh, really digging this pistol a lot more and more after making this holster for it. And I know Corey's got one, and I know he's not a big fan of it. So, Corey, I might have to buy your uh, your Archon off you because I really like it. <laughs> You know, it's very unique. It's very, very unique. Um, and I am I really dig the unique guns. So, plus it's got the thread, threaded barrel. So, but anyways, you know, like I said, it's for Nick. So, uh, got the belt loops on there, just Kydex belt loops. Obviously, we can adjust these, however. So, it goes in very nicely. Clicks in. Very solid. And uh, you know, I've got some nice sight channels, so the laser doesn't get caught on anything. And man, it comes in and out like a dream. This is probably my most proud holster I've ever made so far, or I've made so far for a you know a sidearm. So I think I'm gonna start sticking to at least all my pistols I'm gonna make have or have holsters for. I'm gonna definitely do them this way. So this is awesome. It looks really good. I like the you know squared edges and you know it looks it looks good I'm very happy with it so hopefully nick enjoys it it looks fucking badass uh it reminds me of a police holster truly just because it's got that light bearing look even though it's laser bearing sorry you got the hiccups but um yeah so holster's done and uh now uh we're gonna you know probably head to bed so but anyway, back to the holster, just because I'm, you know, going going at it. So, like I said, this is a full encasement compared to, like, the low profile where it's just basically the breech and trigger guard and, obviously, the sweat guard. Um, so, these are lower profiles. So, you got the muzzle and everything poking out of the holster compared to it just fully encasing there. You're not going to bump it, scratch to the end in it. You're not going to get dirt up in the barrel whatever it may be so um but obviously this holster's not gonna fit it but hypothetically i mean you get it so that's all it would cover you guys have seen them if you watch my vlogs so but nope this is brian's and then uh we still got marcus's so we're gonna go get this to nick tomorrow and nina's got the day off i've got the day off and yeah, we're gonna go get this Nick and see see what he how he thinks or what he thinks. So, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.